If you guys are anything like me, you drive a Japanese car, right? You think about Japanese cars all day. You have to be Japanese. You have to be JDM. But how can you be JDM in a world of United States cars? You have to go deeper. You have to overnight parts from Japan. Today, we're going to be so JDM. I hope you're ready for this. Japanese, they, they always do things right. You don't even need to cut this. You can just tear it open. All right, I can hear it. I hear it now. Oh. Oh, yellow fog lights. It even says it on the bag. JDM. It says I heart JDM. You can tell. You just know. I heart JDM. That's me. I do heart JDM. And this yellow fog light tint is going to make my car so JDM. I'm going to show up to every single meet, stunting on everyone. Alright, in all seriousness though, um, this fog light tint, I really don't even know if it's going to be any good. But we're going to put it on my fog lights today because I'm kind of a JDM butthurt and I like yellow fog lights. I think it just, I think it makes the front end look nice. You know, if you want to go that extra mile and be extra JDM, you do your, your headlights too and you put an X. So I want to just turn these yellow. It should be easy. I don't know. Every time I've tried to ever do any sort of like tinting or anything, it never ends up right. And I'm probably going to mess this up a few times, but I got 48 inches. I could do every single light in my house and be JDM AF. All right, so I'm just going to start on this side. Um, I mean, there's not really any like right side to start on, I guess, with this. So follow along and you can JDM your Euro cars, your muscle cars, your Japanese cars, your Korean cars. You can JDM anything with a little bit of yellow headlight fog. So we're going to spray that on there, give her a nice wipe. All right, and next, we're gonna get our first piece of yellow film. And they give you quite a bit, so you probably, if, if this stuff works, you could potentially do a lot of, you know, different stuff for it. You can invite all your, your buddies over who have their JDM cars, and you could all roll around with yellow headlights and yellow fog lights. And so since this is self-adhesive, it has this like clear plastic on the inside of it. And this is really rolled up. It feels like it's alright quality. It feels very like like stickerish, like a sticker you put on your car. Um, we're gonna go ahead and cut some of this though. What I'm going to do at least is since this is like really rolled up, I'm going to kind of, I'm going to try to flatten it out some. Just to make it a, maybe a little bit easier on ourselves. Get the headlight or fog light saturated with water. Ooh, and this is sticky. This is exactly like a sticker. And we're just going to go for it, I guess. This is going to be tough because it's like concave. Push it down into the edges. And force some of the water out. Yeah, so it doesn't look great. Um, that's 
it on the camera you can probably tell it's like very hazy looking and it looks like all scratched up. Like from a distance I guess it's not too bad. But I'm not a huge fan of that one. So I'm going to try this again with a little bit of extra lighting I think. Eternity later. Well, I gotta be totally honest with you guys. I'm kind of disappointed, so... This is what it looks like stock. And this is what it looks like with the tint. Now, it's not super yellow. It kind of just looks like it's really fogged up and dirty. So I'm wondering if I try one more layer, if that will make a difference, but honestly, this is, is pretty annoying and... It's not really, I'm feeling like it's not worth my time. So, um, so far not looking good for the yellow film from Amazon. All right, well now I feel kind of like an idiot. Take back what I said about this kit because I think I figured out what you're actually supposed to do. So you're not supposed to use Windex. You don't even need it. You don't need to use a squeegee, not really at least. And you don't even need to use that rag, because the rag will just scratch it all up. So here's the first one. And that's double layered, and it's all bubbly, and... I don't even know if you can see. Yeah, it's all bubbly and kind of gross looking. And I did this one. This is just one layer. And look at how much more smooth it came out. All I did was stick it on, like a sticker, and there was one little crease in it that you can get out with heat but otherwise it's super smooth and it's not foggy it looks really nice so I'm going to put another layer on this side so it can make it be a little more yellow because I am a little disappointed in the color but yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and put another layer on this so basically the way this works I guess is you put your film on like that and you can kinda see like oh it's not gonna work but if you, if you slowly kind of just like work your way around, it all smooths out real nice. Don't really get any air bubbles. And look at how much nicer that looks. It's way better and way easier than doing it with the heat and the squeegee and all that. I'm going to finish this up and I'll get back to you. Alright, that is not bad. I'm liking that. I'm going to see if the light output is any different. Yeah, it's yellow alright. That's for sure. Definitely tell the difference. So, I am going to redo that first one the way I did this one and I'll show you after we're done all right and this side is done I am I'm liking that look I think it came out really good um, yeah so it's three layers on each side three layers on that side here's what they look like yellow it's kind of hard to tell on the camera but they are very very yellow both look good, so we're all good there. Here's what it looks like a little bit further away. They're pretty yellow. Pretty yellow. I'm all about that JDM street cred. Thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. This was just kind of a short little fun video to do. I appreciate you tuning in. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and you should uh, check out some yellow fog tint for, or yellow tint for your own car. Anyways, leave a comment below. I always appreciate your feedback and interacting with everyone. And if you haven't already, hit that like button. And if you haven't already still, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video.